Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here, thanks for watching. So back by popular demand, I met my friend Chris Simpson's house and this is his seven foot uh, 265. The decor is the uh, Universal Rocks, the various logs they have on the site. And uh, if you guys are like bigger haps, you probably won't see many bigger haps than a couple in here. So Chris, why don't you just uh, walk us through you got here? Sure thing. Let's check them out, we'll get close and move around. First off, Old Rostratus here is an old fish, and he's probably on his last leg, I would think. Yeah, I would say. He's... For those of you who are followed in any, uh, like, St. Louis area Facebook posts, this guy's been sold and rehomed, like, five or six times that I remember seeing. He's a really big guy, but he's old now, so he's probably, I don't think he's going to make it too much longer. No. You got, uh, I guess, here in the... Right above them, the uh, Buco Chromos Left Tours. Yeah, this is a Buco Chromos Left Tours screen. This is a, about as big of a aquarium African cichlid as I've seen as far as haps go. Some people do exaggerate the size, but I mean, this guy is a like a legitimate 13, 14 inches long. And if you guys remember, he was one that I had a long, long time ago, and Chris probably got him, I don't know, what, like a year and a half ago or that something? Would be a or? Good estimate, yeah. yeah. He's a monster. And for those who want to know if he's for sale, no, he's not. But if he ever does cause problems and tries to eat the other fish, then maybe Chris would consider it. But that's about all the farther you're going to get right now with it. Gotcha. And then uh, let's see where are you at. Where are you? You've got uh, the uh, Holotania there. There's a Lichnochromus acuticeps. He's probably... No, nine, ten inches. The, the fish don't look big because the Bucochromus and that Rostratus are in there. Um, even fish like that, uh, the Champsochromus uh, Spilorhynchus doesn't look very big, and he's probably ten inches long. In the ballpark, we've got uh, what your uh, what the other Champsochromus there. He's yep, big Malawi trout. Notatania flying across the middle. Bucochromus Notatania. So for you guys that like the Bucos, this is going to be a cool tank for you. Got a yellow there in the middle, not fully colored up yet. Vertici yellow. No Bucochromus Heterotania in here, but he does have a uh, small group upstairs that we can take a quick shot of on the way out. Yeah. The... Yeah, Bucochromus Spectabilis right there. Probably about as big as he's going to get. I would think they don't seem to get as big. Who did we miss? Good question. Uh, we got VC10 there, Borlei, Chilotilapia rhodosi. somewhere in there. He's around there somewhere. And then, uh, better. Not much color. We got a different view here. So most of you guys that have the hap tanks, including like myself, it's basically rock decor. But um, this is a little bit different. You don't see a lot that have a lot of the wood in there. So Chris, any certain reason you went with the wood? Was it just just a little more availability? Or? Yeah, just something different. It's definitely cool looking. And there was a uh, red empress. Oh, that's the living stone eye back there. Yeah, the empress is probably behind the one in the middle. <laughs> the empress is hiding behind that one. I guess the left tier screen kind of gave it to him for a bit. But back to that green, I mean, guys, you can, I don't think you can really appreciate uh, how big he is. So some people that you see on occasion have some of these predator haps in like 75s or 90s. I mean, this is, this is the monster that you'll definitely be dealing with down the road if, you know, if they live long enough. So anything else you want to add, Chris, or you want to, you can go check out the heterotania or? Yeah, we can check those out. So if you guys don't follow some of the, the St. Louis Facebook group, um, there's, a, there's a few of them. There's the McCor Missouri Aquarium Society. There's a few others. Um, if you follow any of those, you'll see Chris post stuff on there, uh, here and there. Okay, it's feeding time. It's going with the north fin.
All right, so let's go check out some heterotania. Okay, guys, so you can see we have dogs here. <laughs> That's the way it goes, no different than my house. They, my dogs bother me all the time when I'm filming. So this is a 75? Yep. 75. Okay, these are Buchochromus heterotania. There's the dominant male there. How many are in here? Eight, Eight of them. They're probably three inches, two That's and a half, three inches. Three inches get this. And as you guys know, I never go anywhere without buying something. So the male stays and I get all the rest. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching. Like I said, a lot of times you can follow Chris on Facebook. Sometimes we'll even comment on my videos. So if you guys have any questions, um, he'll put some answers down in the comments for you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.